Welcome to News 3. I'm Pari Cruz. Topping our headlines, federal aid and relief are making their way to southwest Virginia after they face major flooding this summer. A majority of that aid will be heading to Tazewell and Buchanan counties. There will be a 75% reimbursement for the damages in those counties. Two suspects have been arrested after an armed robbery outside of a church in Portsmouth. This happened back in August outside the Green Acres Presbyterian Church. A retired Portsmouth Fire Department deputy chief and his son were landscaping at the church when two men were robbed them at gunpoint. The men then fired a weapon at the retired deputy and rammed him into the church fence with their vehicle. Fortunately, neither the retired deputy or his son were seriously hurt. Both suspects are in custody. Now let's get a check of the forecast with Chief Meteorologist Patrick Rocky. Hey Patrick. Well, hi Pari. It'll be nice to see sunshine return and that's what we can expect for tomorrow. And that sunshine should warm us up pretty nicely. I think most of us will be making it into the mid 70s. Along the immediate coast, it may be a little bit cooler around 71 in Virginia Beach, but you see mid 70s in Suffolk and Hampton. Same story for Elizabeth City, making it to 74 in my hometown, Newport News, around 75 for Norfolk and Chesapeake. Same story for our friends in Moyoc and we have even even warmer weather on the way to end the work week. Uh, it'll be a far cry from how we started the work week, right? Upper 70s, low 80s for high temperatures on Friday. But then we have back to back cold fronts that are going to be moving through Friday night and early on Saturday that those will bring an increase in clouds around and a decrease in temperatures. 62 for our high on Saturday and on top of that, it's still going to be pretty breezy with those fronts moving through. The winds should die down and temperatures will warm up a couple of degrees on Sunday. So if you have outdoor plans, Sunday will likely be your day, and then as we head into next week, we start a warm up in the upper 60s and low 70s by Monday. And you can see as we take you through the weekend, we do have that cooler weather and then that nice warm up to around 72 by this time next week. That's a look at your first warning seven day forecast.